Stepping in, Tim Wood. The center field. Tim Wood. Lined, and that's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Throws to second, and he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Now it's Randy at Rosarena. He's got four hits in the series on nine at bats. The pitch. He's trying for third. Strike in there. And that's a stolen base. Not even close. Here comes a pitch. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. At the belt and fires. And another ball. This one high in the air to left center. Nimmo has it sized up. Squeezes it. Runner tags from third. And the Braves score first. It's one zip. In that situation, you're looking to get something up in the zone that you can put in the air. Worst case scenario, a sacrifice fly to drive in that runner from third. Two and one on Judge. Judge rips that one. Nimmo has it sized up. Two down. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Austin Riley, one of the stars in the win yesterday as he had three hits. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And foul ball. On a line, base hit. And that's going to roll to the wall. Around first and hustling for second. He's there. It's a two out double. Ozzie Albee's up to the plate. 0 for 4 in the win last night. And now the lefty. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. And that's going to roll to the wall. Runner from second crosses the play. And they take a two-run lead. And that's a two-out double. That's two consecutive extra base hits for these guys. I'll tell you. Man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king. But I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. And a pitch. That one the other way. And makes the play, and that's out number three. And stepping in for New York, Starling Marte. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Albies over to first, Not in time. Exactly. One gone, Let's bottom half of the first. Brandon. Here's Brandon Nimmo. Nimmo. Next Nimmo. offering is in for a strike. And misses Ball. inside. 2-2 now. Lifted in the air, right center field. Wood snags it for the second out. Jeff McNeil stands in. Hurt. Hitless of the first two games of the series. He's 0 for 8. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Good Come eye on. in that spot. That's a slider for a strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit. And base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him. So that one has to feel good. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, 
that's one of those swings where you just oh. don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. The 2 1. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Well, that'll make you feel that good as a hitter good. right there. That's that pretty much shot. split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. One home run shy of 200 for his career. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Oh. Sets him down on strikes. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Second inning set to go. Now in for the Braves, Vaughn Grissom. Vaughn Grissom. Next pitch misses outside, and it's two and one. To the right side. McNeil gets it to first. One up, one down. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. Matt Olson. Swings and misses. And that is strike two. It normally does damage on that pitch in that location. Just a swing and a miss there. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. And that one's gone. He'll circle the bases. His 23rd of the year. And they add a run. It's 3-0. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Third in the NL in RBIs this year. Upstairs. Two two down. Yeah, that's a little high. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Three balls, two strikes the count. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. On the ground, right side. Steps on first for the out. So the lineup flips over. Tim Wood next up for the Braves. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Next one off the plate inside. And yeah, that's ball two. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Back here at City Field, Leading bottom up. of the Four second. Left. Now the third baseman, the third Brett baseman. Beatty. Pitch. Misses outside and now three and one. A 3 0 lead is great, but you can't get too comfortable. Got to stay aggressive, keep attacking hitters, try to cruise through this ball game. And it's fouled away. And a payoff pitch. Swings and misses. One out. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to him. Hitless yesterday as they only pushed across one run. Next offering is in for a strike. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Danny Mendick up now for the Mets. Hitless in the series so far. He's 0 for 7. Chop back up the middle. Throw on to Olsen. That's the third out.
top half of the third inning. Here's a speed threat. Randy or Rosarena. Randy. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. This third inning is so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. The one two. Swings and misses, struck him out. The bat. The bat. Here comes Aaron Judge. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. One down, base is empty. Ripped to short. Now the throw to first on the run. Judge out of the play. Now the Atlanta cleanup hitter, Austin Riley, doubled his first time up. Austin Riley. Close, but called a ball. And now three balls and a strike. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck right field. Didn't quite have enough. Back here in Queens. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Omar Narvaez at the plate. And it's even up. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. That misses the zone, and it's three and two. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Riley makes the catch, and there's one gone. Starling Marte up to hit. Now 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. Starling. Ball to strike. The pitch. And that's Ball. downstairs and outside. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth here, here. and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Next pitch is inside, and it's a full count. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. He powers that one out to left. His 24th home run of the season, and they inch closer. It's 3-1. And now, Brandon Nimmo. Just off the outside edge, and that's ball two. And a pitch. That one in triple digits. This to center field. Albies sizing this one up. Racing makes the catch. Two away down. No, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. That misses the zone. Two and one. And there's the strike. The 2-2. Swing and a ball popped up. Brings it in for the third out. All set for the start of the inning. Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. Ozzy The 1 1. There's a strike. It was bumpy in the early going for the lefty, but he settled into a really nice groove. In the air out towards right center. Marte moves under it and puts the squeeze on that one. One down. Here's the speedy catcher, Travis Darno. Travis Darno. The 1 1 is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. And downstairs. <laughs> Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. 
Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Two outs, base is empty. And the batter will be the shortstop. Vaughn Grissom grounded out his first time. Next pitch is inside. And a count two and one. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Kicks and fires. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Gotta love the resiliency he showed in that at bat, battling with two strikes. Got a change up and a pretty good one too. Outside corner, but he just got extended and put the barrel on it. Showed he has a lot of plate coverage on that swing right there. And now Matt Olson up to hit. And he deals on the ground, right side. They take the force out, and that will end the inning. Welcome back. Bottom four, stepping in the long ball threat, Pete Alonso. Alonso. The pitch. And it no, is two and one. Well, these Mets showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game. Here's a drive out to right center. Way back there. Look out. Gone. Pete Alonso takes him deep. His 22nd homer of the year, and they cut into the deficit. It's 3-2. Here's Francisco Lindor. So now one and two. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Gassed it right by him. So up next for New York, Brett Beatty. Went down on strikes his first time through. And here it comes. Really consistent release point. He's been able to pitch up and down and have excellent command at both locations. And the righty deals. Pitch misses there. Two balls, two strikes. That's inside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Left-hand batter waits. Up the middle. And that chance handled. And he's out. And now the Mets DH, Eduardo Escobar. Struck out swinging his first time. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. back and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth Sean Reed Foley he last pitched two days ago and now the DH Marcelo Zuna 0 for 1 he grounded out to first his last time Check swing went around. It's two and two. The why to kick the pitch. Swings through it for the K. Some high cheese for strike three. Tim Wood next up for the Braves. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. 
Swings and misses. Three and two now. Well, that's today's style of baseball right there, right? Big time velo on the bump and big time pop at the plate. Well, a breaking ball on that 3 2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Kicks and deals. Swings and misses. And it's three and two. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. Right-hander kicks, deals. Hit hard on the ground is short. Tosses to first. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. Aaron Judge at the play. Chris Judge has been an exit velocity monster, leading the league in exit velo in 17, 18, 19, 21, and 2022. Yeah, he makes that hot corner at third base. The 2 1. And Judge spoils that one. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Back here at the ballpark, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the left fielder, Danny Mendick. And now the count is even. Some heat there at 98 miles an hour. Here's the catcher to hit, Omar Narvaez. First time up was a pop out. Next pitch inside, two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Next offering is fouled back. Righty to the plate. And now it's filled up. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And there's two away. Here's Starling Marte. Hit an absolute tape measure shot last time up. The wind of the pitch. On the ground to the left. On to first. And that is the inning. Here at City Field, all set for the top of the sixth. Here's some real power at the plate. Austin Riley. Right side. Marte moves under it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. Next to hit, Ozzy Albies. One for two with an RBI double back in the first. Ozzy Albies. Next pitch has popped up. McNeil makes the grab, and there's two gone. Here's the power no, hitting no, no. catcher, Travis Dardo. Travis Dardo. And the right hander deals. One note on Travis Darno. He was drafted by the Philadelphia Phillies in the first round. Twice he was traded for Cy Young Award winners. Roy Halladay as he moved from the Phillies to the Jays and then on from the Jays to the Mets for R.A. Dickey. And down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Bottom of the sixth inning. Now the number two hitter, Brandon Nimmo. The line of the pitch. And a count one and two. Left hand hitter waits. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Wood settles under this one. One away. 
And now here's Jeff McNeil. Number one, second baseman. Two and one now. And a strike in there. He's gotten into a really good rhythm. Set down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep the momentum going. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Here's Pete Alonso. Blast his power last time. Blasted one over the wall to the opposite field. The one one. And that's in for a strike. Now just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. Struck him out looking. Strike three called on a slider at the knees. The Mets with a new arm on the mound, John Curtis. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Well, one run game. Vaughn Grissom getting ready to hit. Vaughn Grissom. Hard ground ball base now. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. I know that was a ground ball, but it was absolutely hammered through the infield. That's not one you're excited to get in front of if you're an infielder. You know they used to say, charge it. Crazy. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. You know, these Braves, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent hard contact. That's almost always going to lead to positive results. There's a swing and a drive. And it's gone! Home run! Another homer. His second home run of the game, it's 5-2. Now it's the DH, Marcelo Zuna. The 1 1. Swing and a miss. One ball, two Swing and a miss, struck him out. And one away. Tim Wood next up for the Braves. He's a guy who does it all. Still only one out here in the inning. Out towards right center field. Makes the catch. Two down. Now the left fielder, Randy Arozarena. He so is quite an athlete. Randy I mean, you look around the other sports, the basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. Pitch one. misses inside, and it's two and two one. one. Next offering is foul back. Swing and a miss struck him out. The high heat, too much on that one. And welcome back. Bottom of the seventh. And now it's Frankie Lindor. The pitch. Well, after scoring oh. runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. In the air, left side. A Rosarena after it. And puts the squeeze on that. And there's one away. And yeah, the batter now, Brett Beatty. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Clearly he was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. And the pitch. The punch out there. And there are two outs. 
Next is the DH, a switch hitter, Eduardo Escobar. The pass, number 10, designated hitter, Eduardo. And a pitch. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. The pitch. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. In the air, right side. Judge is under it. He makes the grab, and that ends the inning. Taking over on the mound for the Mets, David Robertson. And as relievers go, he's not a big strikeout guy. Tries to force weak contact, so command and execution are huge for him. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. and misses it's a strikeout and next for Atlanta Austin Riley one for three righty delivers and a swing and a miss down on strikes two gone two outs base is empty Ozzie Albies next up for the Braves Here's a 1-1. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. The 1-2. Battling here as he fouls it away. And a 1-2 again. He goes down looking. Here comes a new arm for the Braves, Nick Anderson. And he's been really shutting down hitters from the right side of the plate this year. Not a lot of hard contact, not a lot of hits, period. Number 61, Nick Anderson. Here's the left fielder, Danny Mendick. The Mets in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Anderson ready to work. Got him. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. The catcher, Here's the catcher for the Mets, Omar Narvaez. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead, because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. A Rosarena hauls it in, and there's two away. Here's the Mets' leadoff no, man, no, Starling no, Marte. Starling Marte. Off the mark there, and it's two and one. And a foul ball. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. New inning getting started. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. Travis Darno. The 1-1. One, one. 
Well, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. Strike two. Fly ball pretty well struck right field. Marte drop step going back. Gone. Travis Darno hits one out. His 14th of the year. And they add a run. It's 6-2. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Drew Smith. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year. So the defense should be active. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Vaughn Grissom. Here comes a pinch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning. Got him swinging. Here's Matt Olson. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. At the belt and fires. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Right-handed reliever. That one down the line, and it stays fair. Around first, heading for two. Now around second, going for third. The relay in there right. safely. Boog, I know you love the slug. Well, the sluggy percentage is on the rise in this one. That's his third extra base hit of the game. He smashed that ball the other way and kept it fair down the third baseline. Did an excellent job of just throwing the barrel at the ball, even though he was a little late on it. for a strike two and two. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. Runner on at third, one gone. Next pitch off the play, three and two now. Gets a piece. And stays alive. And a 3 2. Stays alive. Three two on the way. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. The pitch. Yeah, there's ball four. When you go that deep into it at bat, the hitter usually comes out on top. So digging in, Tim Wood. He's a guy, Chris, whose highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms in the sport. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. The one-two. And that one is inside. And that one hit 97 on the gun. Randy or Rosarena. Next up for the Braves. On the ground to short. They get the force. Out number three. We head to the bottom of the ninth, and now Brandon Nimmo. The other way, hauls it in, and there's one away. Jeff McNeil up now for the Mets. Ball to strike. That's a little bit low. Swing.
swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo, Grissom, over to Albies. And the Atlanta Braves back in a familiar position, champions of the National League East. Well, when you start the season, your goal is to win that division and win it as convincingly and as early as possible. Well, they did just that. So the good thing, they'll be able to rest some players. If you've got some players banged up, they'll be able to bounce back. The challenging part is keeping everybody sharp and fresh for playoff baseball. And your final, 6-2. to two. And the road team picks up the win and picks up a sweep. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. The final line score.